Guys, today we're gonna to be talking about why people that produce music live on location love Tascam Model 12. This thing's chonky, right? Check this guy out. This board right here really is an industry favorite. Been around for about three years. Lots of updates and upgrades that have gone along with it. It's a no fuss, no nonsense, multi-track recorder and why we love it. Here, I gotta share this story with you. The other day, a new band that I've been working with asked me to uh, show up and do a couple of photos for them at uh, one of their live acoustic locations. That was no problem. I was actually going there because we'd played there a couple of weeks previously and I needed to get some B-roll for some, some video that I was doing. I was gonna get the sign and some things. So I said, sure, let's run right in. The front man wanted me to have a sound recording, but for some reason he couldn't record on his computer directly. He asked me if I had any solutions for that. And I told him, sure, just give me an out and I'll plug it in. He says, well, I can't do that because we don't have enough channels coming out. We need to have more inputs. I need you to run the sound. So I had a little bit of time trying to figure out exactly what he wanted to do. And that's something when you're working with a new client or new people, you need to understand one another's tasking and capabilities so that you can better answer and help them with their questions. <laughs> Say hi to Oreo. He always comes around when I'm making videos or playing guitar. Uh, so I didn't really understand what he needed, but I said, sure, I got something else for you. And of course I pulled up the Tascam Model 12. And this right away did it because all he saw on this board was a mixing board with the inputs that he needed. And he was so worried about me running it to his computer so that he could record. And I kept telling him, don't worry, I got the recording. And he kept saying, no, 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 you gotta run to a computer. Again, this is a new band that I'm working with. I don't know them very well, only met the whole band a few times. And so I'm just trying to understand what he's saying, but there's a lack of communication. When I told him I'm recording, I got it, no problems, he kind of didn't understand because he doesn't know the technology of this particular board. Now, that doesn't mean that the band doesn't have an amazing audio setup, and they usually do. He's got everything that he needs. This was just something he wasn't used to working with. And that's one of the things that I love about the Tascam Model 12, specifically the Model 12 series, and in some degree, other recording soundboards as well, but when I had the choice to make, I chose the Model 12, which is why you see it here compared to others. That doesn't mean the other ones aren't good, but anyways, back to the story. So, he goes to connect to the computer. Of course, I turn the Model 12 on and put it in, of course, PC mode and select Reaper as the client because that's what he uses. But for some reason, he didn't have the drivers downloaded, which of course he didn't have the drivers downloaded because you have to use special drivers. And if you don't have all the drivers downloaded, when you get a new piece of uh, equipment or gear, so he's sitting there messing with it. And I kept saying to him, I said, what, what is it exactly that I need to do? I asked him, for the sound that I'm recording, what exactly am I doing with it? Am I giving it to you? He says, no, I don't want it. So, well, then why are you trying to cook up your computer? And I said, he said to me, he said, because you're gonna need the recordings. You can't record on that. I said, no, 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 I told you. I said, I'll be recording, I got it. And he says, what? I said, check this out. And I popped out the SD card. I said, this is it. He said, oh, that's what you meant. You'll be recording. Well, I'll worry about that in a minute. The point of the matter is here, he didn't understand the capabilities and so many soundboards don't have that function. Now it's becoming more apparent, more normalized for soundboards to have these types of things. But the reality is, this thing does an excellent job. There are some funny things I did about it. So at that point in time, after being about 20 minutes late to start his acoustic gig, which sounds like a big deal, but it was more like a um, acoustic night where they're doing uh, you know, karaoke and stuff, as well as playing along. It's a couple members of the band, they'll play behind you as your own live backing track. Stick around for the video, it's pretty cool. I got that coming up. So there were already people up there doing their thing, singing. So he didn't start late, just he started what he wanted to work on for the set slate, which is what he asked me to do while I was there, which was on a completely unrelated note, just by chance, I was just going back to get some B-roll and happened to be in the right spot at the right time with the right equipment. Hey, listen, I was in the army and my commander used to say, right attitude, right spot, right equipment, right uniform, right time. You're on time squared away. And that colonel was absolutely right. When I roll out and I got my gear with me, man, when I go, I go ready to do. And most of the time that does not mean taking the soundboard. So let's talk about the soundboard just a little bit and why it was so awesome. We only needed five setups and inputs for him. Uh, what, three vocals and two guitars, that was simple. And he was running uh, everything through his soundboard that he had for his pedal board, I should say. So for drum tracks and stuff like that, although they didn't really have a drum track, but you get what I'm saying. He was running all that stuff through that pedal. So whatever came through his soundboard, his pedal board from his guitar, uh, effects and everything else, looping, all that stuff, 
also came to me in the Tascam Model 12. Now, this only has 12 total channels, 10 inputs, and that's not enough to do a live band. For something like a, uh, uh, you know, an acoustic night with just a couple of members or something, yeah, no problem. But if you got a four-piece band with a bass, two guitars, vocals, and you want a full drum kit, this isn't going to work. You're going to need 15, 16, 17 mics in the, realistically. So how do you get that? Well, you can get close to it by adding an additional recorder. This is the Tascam Porter Capture X8. We've got six additional inputs right here, and I can plug this in and use six of these channels to run into one over here on my board. Now, there's a lot of different ways that I can do that, but I can record it separately. I made a whole video about that. You need to add more. I'll go ahead and grab this. But by this point in time, we've done something crazy. If you want more, just buy the Model 16. It's just like this board, except it's fully analog instead of having an analog digital component, which means that the Model 12 will work as a DAW controller, which means had he got Reaper to work real quickly and he, had he continued if he needed to, then I would have been able to control Reaper through the software. All the surf controls would have happened in there through the recording. But there was no need for that because I had the recording in the SD card slot right there. However, when you get into the Model 16 and the Model 24, those additional channels and those additional mixers uh, don't have, well, they just don't have any analog or digital capability, so it won't work as a DAW controller. It'll work as a multi-face input and output, but not as a DAW controller. Which brings me back to the Model 12. I think the update for all of this stuff should actually be an all analog digital hybrid. A Model 16 is something I would have purchased instead of the Model 12 had it had that capability, because I need be, to be able to run the different sound and use it in different ways in different settings, and this is the most versatile for me. There's also another cool thing that he even thought was really cool. While we're doing all this on the Model 12, you can do it with your effects mixed in as it is, because it's going to switch to digital right after your compressor, which means, or right before your compressor, excuse me, which means you can have the dry sound recorded even though you're outputting your wet sound. That's great. So today that was my little video on a talk about why musicians, why live music producers, why live events producers, why people in my position that are creating content love things like the Model 12. Guys, I hope you liked that video. If you want to stick around to see more, like, subscribe, comment down below. Send me a cup of coffee. If you got any questions, I will try to answer them. If you have a question, I answer all subscribers' questions. But before you ask, just search my channel and you'll see I've probably talked about it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye for now.